Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 514. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. So, first up is Pegasus page reveal from My Little Pony role playing game, Core Rulebook. The core rulebook for the My Little Pony role-playing game is released next month. And we've got another page preview following the Earth Pony one from last week. I wonder what the most popular race will be, says Sophisto, or Ask Sophisto. So, let's check it out. <clears throat> so, if you didn't remember what I said last week, um, uh, the what's this? The race character builder mostly just is a certain guidelines for what your character can do and what their pros and cons are. So let's read through this one. <clears throat> Pegasi or Pegasus, gifted with wings, Pegasi owns the sky as comfortable living in. Pegasi owns the sky as comfortable living in Pegasus Clouds Village as they are in homes on the ground among the earth ponies and unicorns. Even on the ground, their wings give them greater speed than the average pony. Some Pegasi prefer to hover than walk. Uh, hover than walk. Their hooves getting tired faster than their wings. Pegasi managed to what, uh, manage the weather, a responsibility they take seriously. They know that less popular weather like cold snaps and rain play an important role in Equestria's environment and they work with the princess to ensure, ba <laughs> to ensure a balance between weather needs and whether once. Some Begasi base their entire personalities uh, around their wings, celebrating the thrill of cutting through the air and the freedom of the sky. Some even see flying as their duty, protecting the skies from aerial threats. Others enjoy the convenience of being able to fly, but don't feel it makes them much different from any other pony. Hmm. All right, um, that, man, this one is hard to like um, dissect. Like from what we gathered here, <coughs> uh, it seems that okay, flying is one thing. Uh, one of the other things is that we see that they when they when they're walking, uh, they're uh, they they easily get tired. So. From my what you might call this, um, fr from what I can gather here is that uh, the Pegasi have a probably twenty five feet walking speed. Uh, in D and D, certain characters or certain races have walking speeds. Uh, that means how far they can move from uh, block to block, or how far they can move. For example, uh, a human can move about 25, sorry, 30 feet. Uh, 30 feet is, sorry, 5 feet is 1 square. So, 30 feet would be 6 squares. And uh, certain creatures like halflings, uh, halflings are considered hobbits, and they can only move about 25 feet. Uh, certain bigger creatures can move about 40 feet or more, depending on uh, their size and whatnot. So, uh, Seeing here, uh, the, the phrase, some, let me just point it out. Some Pegasi prefer to hover than walk. Their hooves getting tired faster than their wings. So I interpret that as them prefer to hover because uh, flying speed is about probably 30. And walking speed is about 25 or even less than that. Maybe 20, who knows. So that's what I interpret in this uh the weather thing uh, this is kind of 
hard for me to interpret because yes we do know that uh, the pegasi control the weather in cloudsdale and so on but what does this mean for your character uh, do they have the talent to um, control weather or maybe they can they have spells to control the weather uh, make a gust of wind or make thunderstorms and so on i mean that will be overpowered if the character can do so depending on what their abilities are but that's one of the things that i see and judging by the last paragraph there some pegasi based their entire personalities around their wings celebrating the thrill, blah 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 um that one i think that could be a pers personality trait that the character would have <clears throat> you can play it both sides um you can play that they're proud of their wings and probably hover all the time uh, sticking to high ground and if there is combat in this game uh, probably they would prefer to take things up in the air uh, using long-range attacks like dropping a bag of flour on, on a creature that that could work I mean you can air bomb them so that's one thing or you can play it where the pegasi just goes stays near the ground probably like a fluttershy and probably use her what you call this probably use her uh, natural powers like communicating with animals probably probably do something what a druid would do so that is an option there which would be really interesting if it's that way so I can't wait. Uh, this is something uh, I would be interested in looking at. So yeah, this would, yeah, yeah, I, I am. <laughs> the one downside about this is that I don't have anybody to play it with. E even with my local group of D&D buddies, I don't know if they want to play ponies. So that is something... I may need to look into. So anyway, let's move on to the next news. Next news is My Little Pony, the 2017 movie heading to USA Netflix. For those of you not re right, <laughs> reeling from the recent password change hitting various countries, Netflix will be adding the 2017 My Little Pony movie for everyone to enjoy via their service. The exact date of for release is June 19, so we have a bit of a wait ahead of us. Okay, so this movie. Um, if you guys have not seen this movie yet, I'm pondering why and how. But <clears throat> judging from what uh, Seth said, uh, it could be that it was taken down for the recent movie, probably. But still, this is great news. This is great news that uh, you can catch the Pony movie on Netflix. So if you have not watched it, this is your chance. Uh, the movie was fun. It had great music. It has. Uh, it was really fun. A lot of great action scenes and so on. And for the Netflix part, oh wow, um, that is something that I can't, oi. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like that is something, um, I don't agree with it. I, I feel like, you know, yeah, that, that, that thing is beyond me, man, like, I don't agree with the password change. I do get why, but I don't agree with it. It feels... It feels silly. So anyway, let's move on to the last news for the week. Pop more pretty me up! Model My Little Pony G4 figure now available! Woohoo! So, last week, um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Pop Mart has listed up the new Pretty Me Up series of figures we posted a few days ago on their website for sale. The entire set comes at uh, comes in at 
$178.80 or you can buy them individually for uh, $14.15. This is unfortunately a blind box style thing in case of the letter. So you don't have control over which one will be shipped to you. Ah, yes, I see. So, uh, if you remember me uh, talking to you last week about this, uh, this is the pony set where the, they had... Uh, I'll just show you. It's this one. The, the, the one I got here is... Yeah. So, model's good, everything's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm just going to break it down. If you are going to buy this and you don't really mind getting random ponies, it's... Well, uh, you can spend the $15 to go buy it. I'm just looking at the whole thing here. <laughs> it's, they look good. They look good. The, the figure looks really good. Um, let's see. Scrolling through, who do I enjoy? Who, who do I like to see? Obviously, Celestia is the mystery one, I think. Uh, yep, Celestia is the mystery one. So getting her will be awesome. But uh, out of the 12s, um, I would say that I like, technically I do like Fluttershy. Fluttershy looks good in this one. Like, huh, look, she's, she's really cute. But Rainbow Dash in a bathtub, that's cute too. Oh, or Twilight scrubbing her face. So <laughs> whatever, we, which one I get, I would be happy with them because they look all good. But uh, if you are particular and if you are a completionist, uh, buying the whole box. Uh, I think we do see a full box here. Let's see. Uh, okay, so this is a case, I think. So let's see. There's one, two, three, four, uh, eight, twelve. Uh, so it's four, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Yeah, so there's twelve. Ah, this is annoying. Huh. Hmm, 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 hmm. 12. So, remember what I mentioned before? So, let's just see here. Okay, so there's 3, uh, so it's 4, 8, 12. So there's 12 known boxes, and there's 12 ponies here, and there's one hidden 13 one, where is the, uh, is the mysterious Celestia. So, here's the dilemma. You can buy a box to get the full complete set of the spa ponies. Uh, all 12 of them. Uh, and why, why the reason is 12? Because, take a look, Steve. Uh, you got two of every pony. Uh, there's six of them, and six times two is 12. So, uh, having the full set is plausible, but if you do get the mysterious a Celestia or the mystery pony Celestia, that means you're lacking one. Uh, so let's see. Twelve. So I don't know what to say, man. Like this, this is one of those cases where how would ah uh, see the whole reason why you would buy a full set at uh, let's just say $180 is because you want to get you, you want to complete everything you, you want to get the full set that includes Celestia I guess but mm, I I mm, you know what well, here's a suggestion for me to you what you could do is that you find another person who is interested in getting it. You get a play set, or you, you get a full set of 12, and they get a full, a full set of 12. And you trade the one that you don't have. Like, if both of you get Celestia, and... Hmm, I, I don't know, man. Like, it feels like... 
yeah, it feels a bit complicated for this one. Uh, and and by that I mean, I got no idea how many um, sets they are in a. How how do I how how do I put this? Okay, uh, when when you buy a box, they come in a packet of twelve. So that packet of twelve comes in a bigger box that probably stacks four. I'm guessing. I'm not hundred percent sure. So that could be called a case. Hmm. Or is it the case is twelve and then the pallet is whatever. But so. There, there are certain scenarios where, uh, the 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 package that it comes in for the distributor to the shop is probably a box of four. Uh, so they have four twelve boxes inside, and probably there's one Celestia in that full set. So I'm guessing that's how it is. So people keep buying it. Then it makes a lot of sense. So it's one of those cases where. I don't know how to, <clears throat> I, I don't know how to process this, but it feels like if you don't mind buying one, like probably I'll, if I see it in the shop, I'll just buy one and hope I get the one I like, which is all of them. <laughs> so yay, I, I don't mind. But yeah, um, if I do get it, that'll be awesome. So anywho, let's move on to the next topic um next topic is what i've been doing with my week so week has been pretty okay nothing new fancy or interesting happened um <clears throat> let's see did i do anything in particular since the last time we talked no um i didn't watch any movies or play any interesting games but what i did was um play some D and and magic, yeah. So, it's still fun, I guess. I mean, the company that owns those properties are a bit scummy, but that's besides the point. But anywho, um, yeah, not nothing particular, not nothing memorable for me to share. That's like wow or amazing. It's just eh, same old, same old. So anywho, let's wrap it up. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshow.gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. <clears throat> you can also catch us on Bolivive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, Doterra and Jacob reviewing the Pony comics, episodes, specials, movies and well other things than those ponies. We do like to cover cartoons, animes, comic books, mangas, uh, movies and video games. Yay. <clears throat> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbsshow. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Leg. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Yeah, you, 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 just are, <laughs> you guys are just great, man. Like, honestly, you, you guys are awesome. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the BS Show. See ya!